welcome, welcome, welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. And here we are. Hi, mommy. <laughs> Hi, mommy. <laughs> Hi, mommy. I forgot about him. Hi, mommy. Oh Hi, mommy. <laughs> Hi, mommy. It's so disturbing. It is disturbing. I'm going to put that on Dr. Drew's list. <laughs> <laughs> he would definitely have a lot of empathy for that guy. God. <laughs> it's a horrible I'm thing. Make fun of him. I know. Because he was homeless, that guy. Yeah, he's the homeless voice, great voice guy. Yeah. It's funny, like, I was just going to go, well, what happened to him? And then, like, I know. That's something bad, right? Well, I mean, he probably got a big break, a he bunch did. of money, and, and then, then, he, he then he blew it on drugs, and now he's homeless I again. I think so. Yeah. You know? It's yeah. kind of predictable. You kind of pick up on these patterns It's of pretty people. sad. It's pretty sad. <laughs> yeah. It is so sad. It is. It's pretty sad. I mean, sure, it's hilarious. But <laughs> it's <pretty sad. laughs> is it funny or sad? That's uh, kind of the... Yeah, no, it's, it's actually... That should be the theme of all our clips. Is it? Is it funny or sad? I think it kind of is. <laughs> yeah. Um... Yeah, gonna ask me how my pee went. Yeah, I'm sure people are dying to know. That was good. Uh, Thanks for asking. Great. Seven months pregnant, so I go a lot. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't think while I was gone to uh, add more toilet paper to the bedroom. I knew you were gonna bring this up. I knew you were gonna bring this up. How dare you? First of all, I I keep that thing stocked all the time. Okay. I bring up about I bring up an entire fucking case of toilet paper. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Well, I got back from dropping our kit off, and there was none there. Yeah. Well, did you use the tissue? There's a backup tissue box that I put there for a reason. Yeah, okay. It's a backup system. Why not stock it with the TP, though? Oh, my God. Because we just ran out. Like, l- this morning at 4 a.m., I took my last wipe, and then I woke up at 6.45 with a kid. It wasn't the first thing on my list, Tom. Well. Why is yeah. it my, am I the keeper of the toilet paper? I was gone. You're the keeper of the house. Yeah, but I, I, I can't, I can't keep up with everything. I, I got other stuff. I got dogs with diarrhea in the middle of the night. Fucking dog. I got seven months. I'm seven months pregnant. I got a toddler, and my friend visiting. It's a lot. All right. So, you want to? God. I, I should tell the story. Ah, uh, I want to fucking murder her. Yeah, Christina proposed that um, we kill our dog, <laughs> Betsy. We don't kill it. All we need to do is let her loose in the hills around here, and there's mm-hmm. a lot of coyotes, and if something were to happen... I'm the psycho? I'm the psycho? <laughs> I'm sitting here like, no, babe, we can figure it out. And you're like, no, I can't do it anymore. I can't do it anymore. I'll tell you, here's why. Uh, the baby keeps me up a lot of nights, too. Like, they cry. I'm, I'm, I'm tired already. Yeah. You've been gone a lot this month. It's been hard. At least once a month, this goddamn dog gets diarrhea, and then now I'm up at night taken her out two or three times. I don't know. We've been to the vet. She eats special food to balance this problem out. She gets diarrhea about once a month. Once a month. And I don't That's know. That's more than other dogs I've been. I mean, I, of course. Dogs get diarrhea, but it's usually not that frequently. It's not this consistent. Not and dogs that I've been no, in a home with. No, Fief might get it once every year. Yeah. Yeah. And they eat the same stuff that falls on the floor. And here's the thing. Yesterday is when she m- must have gotten it. But I kept her away from all the droppings from the food, the table. She, there's no, like, I don't even know what she, she can't get into trash because there's no, there's no supply around her. I know. I, I don't even know what she's doing. She finds her way into things, though, that you don't even think about, I'm sure. <sighs> there's no access. She has no access to these things. Mm. I'm beginning to think it's something inside of her that's wrong. I don't think it's a Could diet. Be. I mean, killing her will definitely do away with the problem, like you're saying, or letting her into the hills. <laughs> little 14 pound Brussels Griffon Uh huh Just for a night If she survives She's your oh, dog then, then she's back Yeah Oh, She's back in the fold Oh my god No she wouldn't live An hour outside of this Not house Not even Yeah no. I know I know Fucking eagle would get her Oh you So fast I think it's a squirrel <laughs> Wham Snatch her right up I, I'm at a loss I really don't know I don't know what is wrong It's like I, I can't I can't be up at night With two babies now And a fucking dog That's the thing yeah. I'm going crazy. Uh, some of you are probably watching or noticing my Mickey Mouse shirt. Um, <laughs> Nobody's noticed. Shit is real. Nobody's and then I do it because uh, my son has taken to loving Mickey Mouse, and it's a way to bait uh, him into affection. <laughs> so I bought a bunch of Mickey Mouse shirts. He really did. And this try way, I, when I walk around the corner for the first time in the day, he's like, <gasps> and he's like, Mickey. And I go, yeah, yeah, of 
course. <laughs> <laughs> of course. He gets all excited. And it's worked so far. It's worked. He's like, and then every once in a while, he'll re-notice and be like, you got Mickey on your shirt. And I'm like, yeah, dude, that's how I roll. <laughs> he loves it. And then I don't wear it, and he's like, the fuck's up with your shirt? Yeah, because he's strictly Mickey right now. Yeah, pretty cool. That's how he sleeps. Well, nothing like segueing from that into our opening clip. <laughs> he... <laughs> Miss that guy. Miss Tom Lake is. <laughs> okay, perfect. There it is. Did you like the clip? <laughs> that was it. That was it. Glad you liked it. All right, yeah. let's try that again. Try it out. Try it out. Try it out. Here we go. I'm Dr. Lindsay Doe, clinical sexologist and host of this Sex Curious show, Sexplanations. Today I'm going to answer a very popular question How do I eat ass? This shit is big time! Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother into this. Your mom in the fucking stand! Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. Obviously, full disclosure, this is more a video for you and <laughs> yeah, okay. some of the uh, hesitant ladies that listen to the show. <laughs> um, a lot of us veteran guys could give this speech ourselves if we wanted to. Sure. But. Might be better for you to hear it from one of your kind, you know. Yeah. But uh, yeah. hopefully you'll take notes. Yeah, you do have a pen and paper. Good. Hopefully you'll. <laughs> Eating ass, also known as tossing the salad, rimming, cleaning the kitchen, playing the rusty trombone, analingus, and culo sex is actually pretty simple. Step one, ask oh, your partner shit, if you can. Shit. Any interest in me licking your asshole the next time I go down on you? How would you feel oh. if I made out with your butt while you masturbate? Wow, oh she's cool. I like her. You know what's interesting to me is uh, uh, people that call themselves sex experts now. Mm -hmm. like, is that even really necessary? I mean, given the internet, you can just Google. I just like this qu the way that she phrased. I, like, I want you to ask me exactly the way she said this last sure, one. Sure, sure. Go ahead. Where, where is Can it? I go down on you? How would you feel if I made out with your butt while you masturbate? That. How would you? Hold on. How would you feel if I made out with your butt while you masturbate? Cool. Let's do it right now. <laughs> like that. That would be my answer. How would you feel mm -hmm. if I made out with your butt mm -hmm. while you masturbate? I'd feel great about it. Did you ever think that I would put those words together in a sentence? Like never. Ever? I never, 41 years, never but said again, that before. She's a super cool chick. So <laughs> She see. doesn't look like the type to eat ass. She either. doesn't, which is might be how she, she kind of comes <laughs> under the radar. Like you meet her for a drink and you're like, yeah. eh, maybe she'll kiss. And then she's like, want me to make out with your butt while you jerk she's off? Like, how and would you like, feel if I made out with your whoa, butt? Whoa, yeah. <laughs> Step two, once you have consent, it's time to get ready. Avoid yeah. no, giving thanks. anything bad to their asshole and getting anything bad from their asshole. Here are the infections that mm. can go from mouth to anus and anus to mouth. Herpes, gonorrhea and chlamydia, cool. HIV, syphilis, hepatitis okay. A and hepatitis B. Whoa. Lastly, gastrointestinal problems and parasites, <laughs> salmonella, E. coli. Basically, the things that cause food poisoning might be hanging out and you don't want to put those in your body. Duh. So here's a good heads up. I wish I could, I wish I had like a, these things right here. Make me think. Don't necessarily just eat a stranger's ass. Yeah. I mean, if yeah. without this, I would have been like, you should. But now I feel like you should. Yeah. Y you should. You should meet people uh. and eat, or eat their ass right away. <laughs> but now I'm like, oh, I didn't know you could get all these things. You think you should discriminate a little? A little bit. Yeah. A little bit, but not that much. Were you the kind that would just toss salad willy nilly with girls? Um, like you just hand it out. No, nah, I'm not just hand it out for sure. But I mean, I don't know. If she, you know, if she looked like she didn't have those, then then yeah. If she looked like she doesn't have <laughs> yeah, those, yeah. Well, here's the thing. I mean, I wouldn't ask for a blood panel. I would see this nasty girl. She's nasty as hell, but she's not nasty. But she looks like a nice girl. So this girl, you'd be like, she's she doesn't even do all this stuff, but she does. And she doesn't. You know a lot what I want to know? I, I mean, I can just I, I don't have any STDs. I wonder mm, yet. how. I wonder how if I, I know it's it's quite common to have a lot of these things. Yeah. Do like. Do you just like a? Do you volunteer it like when you feel like it's about to go down? I think you have to. I think. But you have does a duty. that? That's got to be like. Uh, I feel like that'd be an immediate. Does then that just kill it? DQ. Um, no, because I mean I know people that have these things in relationships, and I think I think it's more the relationship talk. Well, that's what I'm I saying. That's different though. What about when you just meet someone? You're like, you let's eat each to. other's asses. Wait, but I've got hepatitis A, B, syphilis, HIV, chlamydia. <laughs> And gastrointestinal on, nobody I got all these things. <laughs> well, I, I think there are people out there that are like, that's the, that's the risk I'm willing to take. I have a friend who told me once, <laughs> I remember this, because I remember how upset he got. He hooked up with somebody that 
we knew. Mm. And then after they were done, she was like, I got to tell you something. And he was like, what? She goes, I have, um, no, nah, it's not a big deal. He's like, what? Oh my God. She goes, I have that thing that everyone has. And he goes, what do you, what do you have? She goes, I have herpes. He's oh like, no. He's like, what do you mean everyone has? She goes, well, a lot of people have it. And he's like, why didn't you say it before we did it? <laughs> before yeah. we did it. But then he didn't he got he didn't get anything. But see, yeah, some people say that's just the calculated risk you take for being with that person. And you, you just wear a condom and that's the risk. Not a big deal I don't think in yeah. a relationship. I'm talking about one night stands. Well, that's what I'm saying. So, so yeah, the one oh. night stand it's a calculated risk. It so is a she calculated tells you, risk. "Hey, I have this maybe I'm not broken out right now." Yeah. There's no outbreak. Yeah, but at least saying it is a big thing. You have to dec- disclose. I, I think it's your moral duty. I bet a lot of people don't. That's how things get that's why, spread. and see, that's why I wasn't promiscuous in the '90s before I met you. I swear, that's the only reason I wasn't a hoe. I mean, not the only, but I was so afraid of getting all this stuff, man. And now, look, now we're two virgins together. You, you know? sure got hoes, fucking uniform. All right, let's go to that next one. <laughs> yeah. Step three: set a time. I'm sure you don't want to go down on someone and find a dingleberry of poop and cubes yeah. stuck ah. in your teeth. So if you're the yeah. one with the asshole, watch your bowel movements. Healthy ones look like this. Unhealthy ones look like this. Shower and wash your whole butt with soap, especially the anus and all those little crevices that make it look like a star. Stay outside, though. Don't go inside. Oh, uh. again, she's with. Uh, she had to tell you to stay outside, just like that guy. He's like, you want to finger us. Yeah. Don't put your finger in your asshole. Doesn't setting a time feel like a little bit of a mood killer? What are you talking about? I mean, she's like, set a time. Like, fig- like I want to eat your ass. Cool, we'll do it at seven. No, I think that's really cool because I feel like you've demanded things like, oh, I want to put my mouth on stuff. And I'm like, hey, bro, I just came from a hike. God damn it. My crotch smells like a zoo. Do you think you could not put your mouth on my parts right now? Can yeah. we make an appointment and then you can do this when I'm clean? Nah, because I remember the last pig that I did that to. Oh, my God. You know, I just man. met her at a bar and, you know, we had more drinks and then... Oh, but that was probably a big contributor was drinking. Yeah, now that I think about it. Yeah, because you don't... You lose your sense of taste and stuff. And judgment. <laughs> your your brain's like, yeah, go for it. You know? Go Just go for it. Go for it. Doesn't matter. My brain doesn't... It's funny because my brain didn't... When I was in college and stuff, I never sucked at guys' stuff, just willy-nilly. Okay. I've never... Do you know that I've never put my mouth on just a rogue uh, peener? I've never. Not once. Not like a stranger's dick. Okay. Well, one of us is not very adventurous. <laughs> Step four, acquire some dams for a layer of protection. They huh? reduce the risk of all the bugs I mentioned earlier and cover up the smell and taste of asshole. Well, there, that, isn't that the biggest deterrent of them all, the smell and the taste of the asshole? The You mean it's the biggest fucking... Seducer of thrill, yeah, of course. What do you mean? If you don't have the taste, what are you doing? You want it to be tangy, a little little tang. You don't necessarily want it super tangy, but you just want to. Why can't you just have like a clean ass? Yeah, but it's not possible for you because I know where this is going. This is all for you. But you don't have a clean ass. There's no way you can because of the amount of hair and sweat. I go and clean it right now. It's not possible, babe. I'll trim it too. And then you can just do what you say. It's saying. not possible with you. You're so hairy. Hairy and gross. Hmm. Step five, with all preparation in place, play. Play with all sorts of body parts. Kiss, massage, whatever it takes to get all riled up before... Oh, Before God. step Throw six, up. when you lightly blow on the asshole, the oh. blowing will not only light up this sensitive spot; it will waft the smell toward you, so you can evaluate whether or not you want to proceed. Oh, that's a good. That's actually a good tactic. You see that? I t- I blocked it out. What did she say? She's saying blow towards it, and then when, as you blow towards it, your air will hit the asshole. Some of that air will come back, and if there's a a scent to it. Yeah. You're gonna, it's gonna hit I you. mean, I just generally, I engage in practices where there's like no, I don't have to do that. What do you mean? Preliminary how would you know? Well, how would you know then? No, I'm just saying that I don't, I just stay away from activities that I have to do this much preparation for. Any activity that does this? Well, it just sounds like it's a lot. Like I have to find out if this person has STDs. I have to find, I have to, I have to clean their asses. I think the worst was the dental dam. She was like, hey, like imagine you're, you're like, I'm gonna eat that ass. And they're like, hold on, let me. Get this dental dam out. <laughs> <laughs> why? I don't know. It just seems. I, that's how I would prefer to do it on somebody. All right. Why don't we start with that? I'll get a dental dam and then. 
Can I wait until I'm not pregnant? I don't want to do it. I'll throw up. I mean, that's kind of the thrill for me. <laughs> <laughs> that's a whole genre of porn, right? For sure like it is. Pregnant lady eating some guy's butt. I'm sure. Ugh. Yeah. I'll look it up later to confirm. <laughs> <laughs> so nasty. Super What's nasty. wrong with people, man? Yeah, but she's right about that. That's a good tactic. Okay. Blow a little air towards it, and then it just seems so labor intensive for. Step seven: you know. add lube and put a dam in place. Oh, add yeah. enough lube to keep things soft, but not so much that the anus thinks it's leaking. Uh, Again, it's a lot of thinking. Yeah, it's too much. Planning. Yeah, well, I just do it. Do, 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 do normal things. Step eight. Don't literally eat ass. Unless oh, your partner God. is into a poking feeling out of nowhere, I recommend working your way to the anus from the buttocks, from the genitals, to the perineum, inner thighs and up, kissing and touching with your hands, licking if you like. Mm. Spreading the cheeks and going straight in for asshole can feel quite jarring. Hmm. Sounds like you were experienced. Yeah. I know. I just, I did feel it from her too. I was yeah. like, ooh, she really knows what's well, up. She's a sex expert. She's she knows. A sex expert. Once you're at the site, think licking, gentle sucking, kissing, and tickling. Even making contact and not moving at all can be incredibly arousing. The anus is densely packed with nerve endings. It's oh part of God. a concentrated area of erogenous sure. tissue, and it's slightly taboo. So there's a thrilling adventure in doing something pleasurable that society tells us not to. How many people do you think that are watching her really need to watch her? In other words, do you need the full lesson of how to do this? I guess a lot, right? So, I mean, I somebody mean, who's, who feels like they're really benefiting from it. Yeah, I, I clearly. But like I said, like, do we need another sex expert in the world? I feel like you could just Google this shit. How do I eat ass? Well, yeah, she's one of the people that, that comes I up. No, but it's, it's been covered. You know what I mean? I don't know. I've never heard it ta- discussed this way. So there's... this to me feels pretty intuitive. I mean, except for the blowing thing. That's a that's, that's a good a tip. tip. Yeah. But uh, wash your ass. Wash your ass is if you don't know to do that. Yeah, don't eat, don't literally eat someone's ass. It's kind of intuitive. No shit. Yeah, like you're going to chew someone's beehole. Yeah. I don't know. It's not my thing, Tom. It's just not my thing. It's never going to be my thing. We're going to get you into it. <laughs> Step gonna... nine, check in. Nine Come up steps. for air and ask your partner questions. More, wetter, deeper. Um, you could ask them open-ended up. questions like, how is it? But getting a yes or no answer means you're not caught up in conversation when they likely want your mouth getting back to business. Okay. Mm. I, I, am, I am getting a little nauseous. What from, a, what from? Just licking butts, buttholes. <laughs> I can't even fathom There's it. There's only right one now. last clip. Let's oh, just see what the last that, How many is. fucking steps does this woman have? This is step 12. Oh step my 10, God. enjoy okay. yourself. Analingus is hopefully pleasurable for everyone involved. If you're not into it, consider 69ing so you're getting oral sex too or any new position for that matter. You know what she, she should have talked about? The, uh, the, the squat and sit, where like you lay on your back and then a guy steps over <laughs> your face, oh my squats down, puts his mouth, dir- puts his ass directly in your mouth. And then he How, I can't think of anything more overwhelming. <laughs> Can you even imagine? That, it's a beautiful that thing. That I remember in. my parents telling me about it the first time. <laughs> can you? I can only imagine because I have like, I have you know just like squeezed your butt cheeks and stuff, mm-hmm. and I have felt the heat that comes out of that region with you. Like I can just imagine like the heat of that and the hair. Mm. Oh. It's nice. And how Turns do you, you not? On. I can tell. <laughs> and you have to hold the squat for a while. Yeah. Yeah, you got to hold it for a while. Why don't we do the hammock trick that that guy did in Venezuela? Oh, yeah. The McAfee. The, yeah. Yeah. You cut a hole out of the hammock, and then you can kind of squat on that, and then. That's just to make brown, though. He wanted girls to brown in his mouth. No, but you can also do it for butt licking. I guess. There's a tip. She's like, like to fucking watch it hasn't out, thought though. of that. He's really gross. <laughs> That's a whole other level. Speaking of browning, a um, lot of people, a lot of people weighing in on the poop pile. Yeah, because and, it's done. Y- your time is over, man. Defecation and yeah, because the y- you've been found out. Uh, you know, some people said, "Oh, you." There was a "Would you rather" where you said you didn't want to poop outside, and yeah, yeah. Because I'm thinking of. Of it as open oh, defecation, okay. like on again. the side of the street, <laughs> like like that's what we were talking about in India. Is uh-huh. people just shitting on the side of the road? Okay, that to me is different than the poop pile, which was just like a, I don't know, almost like a spiritual event. You well, know? it's a spirit. Yeah. Uh, you know what I think is the most Yana mm. compelling uh, evidence against your poop, your alleged poop pile, is the way that you describe the setup. Now, I would like one of our listeners to go back into the vaults and maybe dig up the audio of the first time you mm-hmm. described 
exactly how the poo pile went because I'm pretty sure you've described it differently. No. It, yep. It wasn't. This time you said there was a, a, a steps hammer to a tree. Yeah, that's true. The first time you just said, you said it was a ladder. Well, it's a makeshift ladder. Uh Oh, so is it a tree with steps cut put into it yeah. or a makeshift ladder? Well, I'm saying I'm calling that a makeshift ladder. The steps <laughs> nailed into the tree. That's a Nope, version. that to me is a tree ladder. That, okay, that's a specific a thing. It's okay. a, a tree that we put steps on. Well, yeah, it's that's a tree. what it is. In essence, it's a tree that you guys would shit out of, but there was no mention of a tree up until this last there's time. There's always a tree. That's what the, we had the tree. What do you mean there's no mention of a tree? But I don't, I don't, Yana, I don't recall any mention of a tree. Well, you know, luckily <laughs> for you, for me, for all of our listeners, I was able to spend time this weekend with somebody I live with during the poop pile yeah, era. Another liar. And I brought it to his attention. Yeah. You mentioned to me, like, bring it to his attention. So I did. He's just going to lie, too. No. What's the point? All right, Case, um, there's been a lot of controversy lately about whether the poop pile is real. And as somebody who <laughs> lived with me in that time, can you comment on to, as to whether it was real or not? Poop pile was definitely real. Um, I mean, it was something that everybody took part in. It wasn't okay. just... Me and Tom and, and Justin are a roommate, but it was like a neighborhood thing. Kids would come over. No. Not parents that. would like get excited and tell their kids they come right over. <laughs> but we had, I mean, we had the, uh, the ladder and kind of in the back where the tree was. We'd climb up. Everybody would take a dump. We'd pile up. I mean, poop pile. Yeah. I mean, now, what about the accusation that it, as guys of that age in college, there's no way we would do that because it would deter you know, girls from coming over because we're trying to get laid. <laughs> no, definitely not. That never happened. I mean, that was, that was, what, that was our thing. That's what we were known for. Oh, okay. I mean, never. Yeah, it didn't like, stop people. Like, Chish Week's like, that's just, that's, it's the poop pal house. Yeah. Let's go get laid. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes even they would want to poop off of that. Mm-hmm. It definitely happened. Yeah, there definitely some ladies pooped off the poop pal yeah. ladder. It's not as gross or crazy mm. as it sounds. And to me, it was normal. I mean, everybody did it, so it was just what we did. So I never felt out of, mm-hmm. I, mean, I never questioned anything. So Yeah. And how often did you, would you say you participated? Because, I mean, sometimes it would happen. I remember I wasn't there. But you can't force a shit, right? So, right. I mean, it, when they call the poop pile call, and they're just the poop, pile, the poop pile whistle or whatever. Okay. If you don't take a shit, you don't go just stand up there until, you mean, you just, you don't participate that time. But there were so many poop piles. I mean... Yeah, it's like everybody got a turn. That was for sure. Like everybody, everybody got a shot. Yeah, and yeah. Um, hmm. yeah, I'm trying to think. I mean, logistically, I was trying to explain, you know, the, the kind of like the makeshift ladder in the tree. And you climb out. Yeah, we had like the like we had like an actual toilet seat at yeah. the end of the tree, right? right. And so it, it felt totally normal. I mean, you sat down on the toilet. You had the bar to hold on to. Yeah, the poop. I mean, it was just. And people don't realize that, like, for the for kids, it was really a fun, like, a... Come on, dude. I mean, what kid doesn't love to just drop a poop, right? Yeah. It's like, it was like going on a roller coaster. You have a two-year-old. You have an almost two-year-old. I have a three-year-old. What happens yeah. when you say the word fart? Yeah, they laugh. Or poo. Like, poo. They laugh. They so, loved they loved it. They loved it. Yeah, kids loved it. The other neighborhood, like, men definitely loved it. And I almost feel like, yeah, I think women were intrigued by it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know? sure. It was uh, pretty cool. For sure. Thanks for verifying this stuff. Poop pile. Dude, can you do, can you remember the call? Like, when, like what did it sound like when we let out the, what everybody know? I feel like it was, for some reason, I feel like Justin called out the most. Like, because he had, he would really have, a, he had a good, like, yelling voice. He was a good yeller. And he would be like, Poop. I remember he just screaming, like, Poop pile. Like that. People would dart. Dart. Over. It's like the ice cream truck came yeah. through. Exactly. And they just were like, I, I got to do this, too. Yeah. Very cool. Is that a fart? Yeah. Yana, allow me to present Casey's testimony, mm-hmm. if I uh, may quote him verbatim. Now, you presented the poop pile in last week's drawing such that there were steps nailed on a tree. Yeah. So, uh, to, as you put it, a makeshift ladder. Mm-hmm. Now, Mr. Casey in his testimony right now said, we had the ladder kind of back where the tree was. Now, those are two separate items. 
I rest my case. No. He's saying he's, there's a separate ladder kind of back. He's not saying there's a no, separate no, ladder. Look, quote, and I quote, we had the ladder kind of back where the tree was. So now in Casey's reminiscence, uh, re- recollection, if you will, about the poop pile, there was a ladder kind of back where the tree was. Now in your drawing last week, yeah. uh, if Blue Band can bring it up, yeah. as I'm saying this, you had individual steps like a tree house mm-hmm. nailed up. Yeah. Now, which was it, liar no, pants? No, here's the thing. No, no, Sometimes, no, no. Those are two separate ways. No, because you could lay a ladder against the tree as well. You could, but if, you didn't. No, I always used the steps that were nailed to the tree. But <laughs> if you wanted to join somebody up there, maybe somebody was climbing it, you put the ladder against the tree. Now there's two people going up <laughs> He the tree. didn't mention that. Now, Casey's testimony did not say that. Sometimes there was two of us up there. First of all, there's no mention, never, of two people pooing. Oh, sometimes there was three How? or four people. How is that possible? Because you would all hang off of that branch and wait for hang one. Hang off of that branch. There, yeah. You said there was only one bar right? that you could hold on to. That's right. Now, you're telling me that two grown men are going to share a little bar no. and hang their asses no. off one branch? No, you're misunderstanding. Oh. Somebody is sitting on, somebody's sitting to shit, uh-huh. and another person's facing them, like watching them. Okay. And then they switch seats when one's done. So one person's holding in their shit and coaching the other. This is uh, first of all, this is the first time you've ever mentioned this scenario. It happens all the time. In the last 14 it happens years. All the time. All the time. Yeah. Uh, I'm just saying that right now, Casey's testimony of what it even physically looked like doesn't sound what you like what yeah, you drew. Well, like, you, I mean, uh, I'm gonna get video of it at some point. I'm sure. Video of what? Of people pooping off of it, so you can. You think the poop pile still exists? For sure. Set up. It, it was could... legendary. Where is it? Where? Where? It's in North Carolina. It's in North Carolina. Well, that's where I lived. Where, where else would it Do be? Do you 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 think that the person who now lives in this place? maintained this ridiculous thing. I'm sure when they heard stories about it, they wanted to see what was up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd like to interview these alleged children that ran to the scene of the poop pile. Okay. Why don't they come forward? I'm sure somebody knows somebody, the magic of the internet. Sure. You found the bikes kid through the magic of the internet. Um, Somebody wanted me to bring up your moose. Is this your... Unbelievable. Somebody else. Lies in this house. Somebody submits their impression. I'm going to get a um, metal uh, metal detector, a lie detector. Really? Yeah. We're going to get to the bottom of this. I'm I'm over it. It's supposed to be an impression of the moose soup lady. Okay. You you remember her? Oh, yeah. Come down later for moose soup. Okay. Oh, dirty son of a. So let's see if this guy has a good impression. Fuck! (laughs) Is that Charlie? Oh, dirty bitch! Come down later for moose soup! You boys, come down later for moose We got moose soup and everything! It's pretty good, actually. Yeah, except that the audio doesn't line up with the video. Yeah, so I was confused if he was playing the reel. But that was yeah. good. I thought he was playing the reel. I know. That was really why good. Why doesn't it line up? I don't know. Because that would indicate that it's not real? What hmm. the fuck? Hmm. Fuck! There, it lined up there. <laughs> Is that Charlie? <laughs> that's pretty if it is him that was really good yeah that's kind of weird god damn it fuck you guys are doing good <laughs> I know I know Tom hurry up Tom <laughs> yeah. you were there yeah Tom hurry up that was great um, good job Austin uh, before I forget I forgot to put it on our show last week what uh, only online I posted it and it still blew up what? The fucking new Try It Out Try It Out shirt. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so I didn't even realize it because the guy was like, he uh, messaged me. He's like, oh, people are loving the Try It Out shirt. And I go, oh, I only posted it online. <laughs> we, we didn't. Uh, there it is. Try It Out. It's such a good shirt. It's so It's an silly. evergreen. Your Mom's House podcast, Try It Out in the middle. We also made a women's shirt. So Try same. It Out. Try it out, women's cut. And what's so. good about the try it out shirt is that it's kind of try the it out. inside joke. Yeah. It's work friendly. It's kid friendly. Nobody's, yeah, you can wear it anywhere. Nobody's going to be offended or, you know, creeped out. Just try um, it out. It's very life affirming, very positive. Yeah. And it also says, try like, have you not listened to this podcast? Yeah. <laughs> try it out. Let's give it a shot. You know what's interesting, Tom, is that the try it out guy has made his rounds into our heart. Over and over and over again. And before you left for this last trip to Atlanta, yeah, we kind of rediscovered him as a couple. Yeah, it's true. 
It's like some clips that, that over time they kind of unfold and give us more and more meaning. Well, I, you're right. And I, I also realized that there was parts of uh, what he was saying that I was glassing over. Glass uh, it over. So that's like, another blast from Like, past. I really need to pull. Here's the deal, man. Here's the <laughs> it's deal, so man. funny that he says that. I never tried, you know. Men from jail, homeless, Jesus or, Christ. or a thug, you want to come move in? A friend can move to two, man. Free rent, you get a lease and a key. Fuck me. Piss on me. Beat me. I'm home Jeez. now. You see me? You want to come over today and try it out? Try it out, man. Well, I didn't, just, that doesn't have, here's the deal, but somewhere. my building, try it out. You want to fucking piss on me, try it out. She has applied only as fuck, man. I'm looking for hardcore guys. I mean it, want to do it. I want to deliver it. I'm a hot, white trash. Come dump, let's fuck. Come dump. Well, he goes, I'm, I'm a hot, white trash. Because he's too Come fired dump. up. <laughs> he's really fired up. That's why. But where's here's the deal, man? Black guys who love to fuck and fuck <laughs> good. good. If you're a hot black guy and you want to fuck me at twenty three ninety five, if you want to move in, you can move in, but you got to fuck me. I need, I need to be fucked a lot, We man. got it. We get yeah, it. Free food, free rent, and everything else, man. Here's a deal, man. There it is. Here's, here's a, deal, a deal, man. man. <laughs> I love here's, here's the deal, deal man. man. <laughs> because it's like it's setting up what you really yeah. need. You know, Here's the deal, man. This well, is what it's going to be. And it's like he's really been ruminating on this. Yeah. And you know when you're fi- like you you lay in bed at night and you sometimes think of a confrontation you're going to have with somebody sure. the next day, yeah. and you're kind of lining up your arguments, like that's what he's been doing. Yeah, he's, been he's been sitting on this been for a on minute. Now, I think we should do a quick pause. Our friend uh, Wheeler Walker Jr. is coming. Oh, over. okay. So why don't we take a quick he's pause here. Let's and do yeah, it. and and go see what's Try up. Try it out. Try it out with him. <laughs> and we are back. We, uh, of course, you don't know. We pa- I like how I act like the time has passed to them. Um, <laughs> But we are rejoined by our friend of the show who's been here before, Mr. Wheeler Walker Jr. All Thanks right. for coming. What's up, guys? Thanks for having me, Christina. So excited to have you DJ back. DJ Dadmouth. That's correct. Water um, champion. Good to see you guys. Hey, see you what, as well. what did you just say? Um, water champion. He's the water champion? Of course. I saw it on the news. You it saw was on the news. What news? It's It's been on the news before. Yeah. Have you ever heard of the poo pile? You're from the South. The poo pile, no, I don't know. I mean, I know what poo is. I know what piles are. You ever heard of uh, grown men building like a, a tree house ladder and then hanging off of it and pooing in the same pile together? What do you think of that? Sounds like a good weekend to me. <laughs> yeah, see? We did it. And guess where I did it? North Carolina. Oh, well, yeah. Is, I mean, yeah. I mean, I'd never heard of it, but I'm like, if you, if you said, let's do it now, I'd put the microphone down we'd go, we'd, I'd yeah. go do it and if I told you really? it existed in the Carolinas you'd probably be like well, that sounds believable I, if you if you guessed me which state I probably would have said Carolina <laughs> yeah. Yeah. do you play Carolina you must right yeah we've done it a few times I'm, I'm going back there um, uh, soon I told you before we started recording I'm, I'm, we're, I'm touring with Kid Rock in the fall and I think we're doing Somewhere in North Carolina, I forget. They tell me the dates, and then that's gonna be a fun tour, man. Yeah, it's crazy. You know what, what's what's cool about it for me, which is a new thing for me, is there. It's country artist, which is probably different. I don't know what it's like for for comedians, but it's we do it's weekends only. Yeah. So I'll be in Nashville oh, that's all great. week. You know, so we get on the bus Thursday night or Friday, whatever. So. Yeah. It's just like a living a normal life, and then you get to go tour on the weekends. It'll be fun. Yeah, that's going to be awesome, man. So yeah, is that, that what you do? You guys do pretty much weekend. Pretty much, yeah. It's a weekend yeah. it's a weekend gig. Yeah. Which, uh, fuck, that's, that's what makes it tolerable. You really? Know? Yeah. Will yours be like week after week after week, or will it be like breaks? Yeah. There, I think we're, it's, it'll be a total of three months. Of, three months? Yeah. Wow. It's a long tour, but it's, uh, it's going to be fun, man, because... I mean that's why I give um I'm giving him some credit because you know when I, you know I was in you know making the first record I'm playing you know, fuck you bitch sit on my face to me these sound like arena songs but yeah. then the reality of the world kind of kicked in and I'm like, you know start playing clubs like you know maybe arenas aren't gonna happen, and then, and they got the call like I can't you know, I, you know how much I they're gonna pop that. off and also the coolest thing, will be people, there's gonna be people for sure at the show. We're like, oh, like who's his opening act? Who's that? Yeah, and then totally, there's gonna be people who get there early just who want to get you know situated with their fucking hot dog and their par- absolutely their parents, and they're gonna hear me singing like, what the fuck is is going on? And like when they mm-hmm. hear the Pussy King, um, I don't know. I think you're gonna you're gonna win a lot of new fans on this thing. Yeah, and that's a, that's a good thing about music. I either win the fans over, or I when you if I don't win them over, I certainly make an impression. You know? Yeah, they'll know they'll know your name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they'll they'll or they'll it was like the old, you know, I think it was a Howard Stern thing, which is, you know, 
the people who like you, you know, tell one person. The people who don't like you, tell like fifty people. Yeah, you know? mm. I'd be going nuts if I was at a show and I didn't know who you were and I heard these songs. I would be the guy who's like, I got. I'd be buying your album in the fucking in the audience that right now, then and there. Yeah. Wheeler, do you have any songs about eating ass? Yeah, we just were talking. Um, about no. Uh, well, I got, I'm gonna be making my third record soon, but I got to get into that, right? Well, yeah, I mean, we were just talking about this and. One of the things we talked about that we saw a sexpert give advice on like bringing it up and preparing for it, and she she suggested like a dental dam, and I was like that kind of is a I don't know I think that's kind of a mood killer. Yeah, I mean it seems like you're not really doing it, you know. Well, I don't know. I didn't like her approach to the ask. It was like, how did it go again? Do you mind if I make out with your butt while you masturbate? That was one of her ways of bringing it up, yeah. It seems Ex- explain to me what a dental dam is. It's like, isn't it just a piece of plastic that you put over a vagina or an a-hole? And then you, that's so your, how you... your tongue you, is actually Your tongue licking. licks plastic yeah. or rubber yeah, or that, I, I, that latex. I don't know the definition of eating ass, but that can't count. Right. Well, let me ask you, this. Oh, you must be just crushing box on the road. You're a musician. Mm. You have all these songs uh, that are sexual in nature. Is it everything you dreamed of? Well, I I, I got a girlfriend, so oh. it's not. It, and um, I th- I'll, I'll be honest. I, I thought that was kind of a. Am I, I, am isn't that a thing to, in the industry? Like you're not supposed to say you're with a woman because. Well, I'm, I think John Lennon wasn't supposed to say he had a wife. Right. You know, but I ain't the Beatles. I'm not. You know. How long yeah. you been with this girl? Over a year, I mean, it's and it's actually real. Like I was talking about, it's nice to you know, yeah, to not have to deal with these like fucking road skanks and yeah. getting backstage and shit like that. Like, road beef, right? You know, road beef. And right, then, Tom? It's, then it's just like you know, so so and so wants to come backstage, tell him to fuck off. You know, right? Which I can't imagine. How Music's much plus gotta you get. be different. I mean, stand up. It really, you know, there are comedians who their their act is. Basically, it's courting, get like they're it's an attempt to get laid. So, really? their whole thing is I mean, it's not it's not laid out as in I'm doing this to meet chicks, but that's what they're doing, you know. And, and they they do their set, and it is an attempt to get laid, but it's so different than music where music is it cannot be in your idea, your mindset of oh, this is why I'm doing this. But I think when people see musicians perform. You know, men and women. Yeah, it's just it's probably just different audience. People yeah. screaming and drunk and stuff. Uh, like sure, that. but I'll bet. Who are the like? You know, what's the word I'm looking for? Poon crushers and no, you can't say their names, but it's can't, probably can't say. But it's, but it's probably like the dudes that you would never imagine. Right? Yes, I, uh, I'll tell you. Them. I'll tell you what I I heard that uh, Cosby was. Well. Before. Before, yeah, well, he, had, he, had, he had a trick too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. that, but that legit, like other than those those things that women. Sometimes it's a, it's a surprise. I know a couple. I mean, yeah, I can't say it on here. But when we stop, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, three verified absolute just hounds that yeah, yeah. that's their whole. A, co- game. a couple people said that to me before. You know, like man, you just did this music just to get laid. And I was like, in a way, I was kind of like, it kind of annoyed. I was like, you don't feel the fe- you know. The, the, you don't feel anything in this music other than just right. like a guy who needs to get laid, you know? Yeah, no, I think not that you said that, but I'm just saying like it. No, it, it annoys me when people say like, like that's a lot of work to get laid to record. Wait, right? But I think girlfriend... the thing is that they expect that if you're if you're a musician that it isn't that's, work. That's, that's part that's, of that's the thing. Part of the, you know, I think yeah, it's probably. Yeah, right. does she ever get jealous? Because you also have a lot of really good looking women in your videos, and you're you know singing about like hot chicks. Like, is she? Like, how'd you meet her? Is she into this stuff? We or? just met mutual friends. She, I mean, she, yeah, she loves what I do. We, we get along. I mean, we haven't had any problems with that kind of stuff. Oh, okay. No we jealousy like, or? No, no, no. I mean, I'll bet if you sat her down and said, would you rather him not call himself the Pussy King? I'll, right. My guess is she'd probably say, you know. Yes. Mr. Walker. Yeah, I prefer that, you know. Yeah. Or the, you know, the sit at home watch TV King would probably prefer. Because I'm, I'm kind of a, you know. That's what I got. I get road beef. I love it. Oh, at me stop. left and right, but I always stop. yeah, you gotta it push off. it off. Yep. <laughs> we always <laughs> you like the women that come up to me w- when the guys ask for pictures. Oh my god, I, I love have this. when I do stand up. <laughs> you know, I would say eighty nine percent, maybe more, of my <laughs> audience is men, but you also obviously see couples. <laughs> Majority of the time, when I meet a couple after the show. <laughs> A guy will be like, oh, man, fucking so great to meet you. I had a picture. And then I'll be like, sure, man. And then he'll be like, babe. And she'll go, I'm good. 
<laughs> and I'm like, I'm right fucking here. And then he'll like insist, come on, get a picture. She's like, no, 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 I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine. Well, their whole, the, my thing is, it's like, there's a lot of couples there and a lot of, you know, it's like, it's the same thing, but, and then he gets a picture and, and she's like, you know, this, this is my birthday gift to him, you know. Oh, like, yeah. Oh, I, did right. as, I did it as a favor. I don't need shit, you know. Yeah. Like, <laughs> You know, I get I hear it a lot. Um, he's been dying to see you, and I go, Thanks, yeah. And she's like, Yeah, yeah, yeah no, he was really excited tonight, and he really laughed. A lot. She tells me like it's a, he, he, a report, he, like making sure I know that that <laughs> she no, I was get that in. question a lot too. Like, how do I convince my girlfriend or wife or whatever to, to let me to, to get her to go to a show with me? I'm like, I don't know, she's not into it, you know, yeah, go she do doesn't like it, yeah, don't do, go do something else, yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, it's 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 very weird. Well, this, but this tour is gonna be, I think, bananas for you. You're gonna pick up so many new fans. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. We, what kind of venues are you doing? Do you know? I think it's, I think it's amphitheaters. Fuck. Jesus. Yeah, it'll be it'll be big big places. It's got other guy Brandley Gilbert who's really big. He's playing. Doing too. those songs that you you have like in those venues is gonna be. And it's a real cush gig thing. too, because you know, we you know we go on so early, so I'll be like done. I'm used to getting done at fucking it's midnight. Great. I'll be done early and <laughs> oh yeah, it's the best. Ready to you know, get on the bus and whack off and I get have, drunk. Uh, yeah, because I'm trying to think here. I have your, I have your latest album. I have Old Wheeler on my phone. Man, finger up my butt. Yeah, I'm I really love. I'm excited for uh, the, you know, the Kid Rock fans, who don't know who I am to hear finger up my butt and that kind of shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I guess Summers in Kentucky would be, what, too slow to play on something like that, right, to open? Yeah, because yeah. you got to do a shorter set, so I just try to just, you know, pound it. Pound in. it, yeah. Maybe I'll probably do Fuck You, Bitch is my one ballad. That's a great song. Yeah, to try yeah. to, um, played on here before, I think. Fuck so, yeah. your dog. Yeah. 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 And I think yeah, that'll get you, some, bitch. hopefully get a couple lighters, even though it'll be probably light, a little lighter outside. But Yeah. Yeah. That's fucking dope. That's man. exciting. That's really, really good news. We're, we've, we've supported you and um, we're just so thrilled that now, you're doing so well. In your music, you're a really talented songwriter, singer, great on the guitar. Do you ever scat? Do you ever. No, no, is it scatting a, th- a, a thing? A, oh, you're not feel familiar with scatting? I, mean, I know what scatting is, but it's like, is it something you guys are into? <laughs> we've been yes. getting into it. Um, yes. Trying to figure out whether it requires. Skill or if any two year old is capable of <laughs> No, I, I was I would go for the two year old <laughs> angle. But yeah, for me, I, I mean the only time I would ever do that is if I'm working on a song and I didn't have the lyrics ready. Right. I just wanted to, to record the melody I'd go you know, duh, 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 you know. Like babbling. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's that's more babble than a scat. I yeah, I mean what training would you need for scat? I it's such a, a racket. I, I don't believe it. I mean are there people who pay wait, are there people who pay you to go see people scat? Yeah. There's uh, like I scat so. performers. I think so, yeah. Uh, oops. Um, yeah. So, anyways, you know, we we mocked somebody that did it on our show, and then most people were into it. But then we got a few pushbacks about, um, you know, how talented this person was. And well, then, we we found a woman who won a Grammy for her skin. Yeah, and she was like, you know, I'm. Well, how not- do you win a Grammy for skin? Like, what category? <laughs> I don't know. She's like, you know, I, I don't, ha- so I don't, weird. I don't play the trumpet. I am the trumpet. And I'm mm, like, no. yeah. It's like, a, what's his name? The don't worry, be happy guy. Yeah, <laughs> Bobby McFerrin. Yeah, yeah. I'll, be, I'll bet he won a Grammy for some shit. Oh, you're probably right. Yeah. I mean, here's a little taste of yeah, somebody yeah, yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. That's horrible. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Christ. Singing is a form of vocal improvisation ah. using knots and syllables. Imitating musical instruments. You have to explain it. Used in jazz. Yeah. Yeah. That's you don't. I don't have to. Go, after my sh- each song, I don't go. Country music is the thing where you play your <laughs> guitar and you. <laughs> yeah. Sing, you know, it's like yeah. if you have to explain it to prove that it's actually music, it's not. It's not. Yeah. It's I mean, I just not. Watch, what it looks like to me is a guy who's like, I love music. Don't want to. Don't want to spend the time on guitar, learning no. guitar, learning, right. mandolin, no. piano, whatever, or bass. I'm just gonna stand up against the wall and just start fucking babbling. Yeah, also, no. I can't remember. Li- Remembering lyrics is tough too. Yeah, so if, you, if you just scat, it's just like you. Know. Yeah. And I, I noticed his his snaps were kind of off. Yeah. with the with his uh, scatting too. We saw they weren't, uh, it wasn't very rhythmic. A duet scat, remember? Where, where oh he'd be like, yeah. and she's like, 
and they oh match each God. other's like last note oh and take it somewhere God. else. Yeah, I mean, half their life is probably proven that they're a musician. So <laughs> it's just, just like, it's like any, I've never, I don't know anything. I've never heard of a sketch <laughs> show or you know. Now, how long? You're pretty damn good guitar player. How long did it take did you, you figure it out in like a day, an afternoon? How long did it take? Yeah, I, I, pro I mean, it took me. I will say there's because everyone asks that there's a learning there's like a learning curve definitely it's like the first week you're just like fuck this I don't want to play yeah and then there's just a there's a time maybe a few months in where it just like starts to feel normal uh -huh. and then not then you get to a point where you just pick you know wow but you started very young oh yeah I was probably you know eleven or twelve or something what was but. the first song you wrote do you remember when you were eleven the first song I wrote um I wrote a song with a buddy of mine back in Kentucky um. My buddy Tyler, who um, I won't say his last name because I think he's got like a, a normal job now. Mm -hmm. We wrote a song called "Big Woman." Mm. It was really bad, but you know, "Big Woman." You know, mm -hmm, we were trying to do mm -hmm. like um, I think we, it was kind of like a big bottoms, like smile tap kind of thing. Mm -hmm, we were trying mm -hmm, to write. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, like oh. her butt. Her butt was big. Well, I think she was all around big. She could have been into scat definitely. Well, let's get into a little more scat lessons. Five things you need to do okay. to learn to scat. Oh God. Number one. You need to listen to a lot of jazz recordings, no, especially Bullshit. horn players, like the trumpet or the saxophone. Because horn instruments are very similar to voice, since because they use uh, breathing. Number two, you need to transcribe. You don't have to write the notes down. Just try to sing uh, the, the solo that you like. If you can find a track that you like, you don't have to really use too much effort. You will eventually sing the solos. You understand what he's advising, right? Yeah, to so, mimic the right. The so hear like some right. sax solo, and then you. Yeah, I can do that. Do so that. he's claiming it's. He's, I think he's trying to claim it's like a cover. Well, isn't that? Yeah, isn't yeah. that kind of plagiarism? I mean, you're not coming up with your own songs. So says that what's here, the talent? Here's an example. <laughs> He's basically just singing along without having to learn the line. Yeah. Right. I think this should be called singing along. Not but singing along with the sound. Because that's singing, singing along without having to learn the, the lyrics. Yeah. The, yeah. The, he's singing along with like the. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, this is. <laughs> a, <laughs> this is yeah, it's just mimic the stuff. It is crazy that somebody won a Grammy. <laughs> I want to know this. Gra nuts. I want to know the scat Grammy thing. A scat Grammy. Can you think of a worse thing to have to sit scat through the album. nominees? They should put it oh like at the. God. Should be the last award <laughs> of the night, and then our final award, the scat album. Scat of the album year. of the year. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it really is exactly what you do when you're a little yes, kid. Yes, you make <laughs> you up hear. songs all the time. A tree, I love my tree, you've got green leaves. Oh, is it practice? You practice? know, when I'm on stage and I forget my lyrics, I'm Number three, use <laughs> practice the nonsense syllables. If you use a bad so choice serious. of syllables, then it will stutter your phrase. For instance, do 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 or ba 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 some of the I love when they show the bad versions. That are yeah, used and you can't tell the difference. Scat singing are <laughs> ba do bi do do wap <laughs> dilia ba do we. Man. Oh my God! And number five, get a day job. Get a yeah. day job. Yeah. What a nightmare! It's a skill set. Hey, that's a sign of something. You know, something shitty is if you took like <laughs> you took the three best scatters, I guess maybe you'd call them in the world, mm -hmm. yeah. and then put just two people who just had learned it two seconds before. Would you be able to tell the difference? <laughs> that's a great, a great way to. You know, if you if you took like <laughs> right. the great grace could put Clapton next to a guy who just picked up a guitar, yeah, you, you, you know, know who's good. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's see, that's that's right. That's yeah. the whole thing. You'd be like, I think that Clapton guy's better than yeah. the other guy. Yeah. But in scatting, you might be like, I don't know. That yep. guy that's been doing it a week is pretty fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he'd be probably, probably, probably be more fun to watch. Yeah. 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 It just, um, yeah, it seems kind of like an insane thing to do. Um, I bet there's a whole scene, you know, like, a, yeah. like underground, you know, like. Yeah. I think they think it's, pro I think, I feel like he's got the vibe he thinks it's like some new form of jazz, you know, it's like jazz. It's like the millennial version of fucking jazz. Or something. <laughs> I don't know. People have been doing this horse shit for a long time. This is an old bullshit racket. Man. It's bullshit, man. It's old stuff. Yeah, it's, it's People definitely. People have been scamming the scat thing for a minute. Mm -hmm. I feel like, didn't. What's the song where David Lee Ross is like, bop, 
Diddy bop. Oh yeah. Yeah. I ain't got no Diddy bop. Yeah. I ain't got no. So would that make him the world's greatest? That's that's got to be a big scat hit. Yeah. Because then there was the. But then he fucked it up by singing words and things. Singing all good and stuff. There was the I'm the Scat Man song. That was How a, does that one? I'm the Scat Man. You remember that? Yeah. That one. But then there was actual music around that. That's right. Right? He's in there scatting. Break, that's yeah. breaking the rules. <laughs> yeah. The free form. Also cuz there's no structure to it, the fact that there's no st- at all structure, it, it kind of doesn't make it a song, right? Mm. I mean, you're a songwriter wheeler. Can you just willy-nilly? No, there's got to be some kind of Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm that's what I keep being confused about like if you're in the studio and he goes and the guy goes let's try it again he would be like I don't know what I did <laughs> what do you mean try it again? try what again he goes the new one will be a new song yeah, yeah. so it's just like whatever like if you had a 10 song album it'd just be whatever 10 pieces of shit you threw out there you know I kind of think we should try to make a scat album I think so too yeah it's a you great could, idea you, make it you could do it with these two mics put it out I know, I know. You, you could make a lot of money yeah make a lot of money yeah scat the album scat <laughs> Scat, maybe maybe scat we could duo. open for you yeah. as your scat, oh, if you, scat if you, duo. If you two scatted, you could open every fucking show you want to. Yeah. I'll sit down with Kid Rock and say, I know it's, I go, I know it's, I know openers can't have openers, but I, I got these two. I gotta get these guys to at least scat for a minute for me. Yeah. How how quickly before we got booed oh, the at a Kid Rock of audience? <laughs> I mean, oh yeah, you get hit with shit. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> they would kind of, you know, it would start like they, people would be like, huh? And then once it hit, maybe like minute, like oh the one my minute. God. Although I guess what's you know, bow it to bow was kind of a scat a little bow, bit. Bow, yeah, with the bow, oh, the right. bang, the bang, diggy. Oh diggy. right, but it, but it, it probably breaks the rules by being the same th- thing every it's time. It's amongst music. It. There's yeah. actual right. music in there. Right. But he always sings the same. He doesn't, he doesn't just go, go sometimes and go, Scott, but did that, you know. Scott, but did that, pop, 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 His crowd would go on him, turn on him if he was just Scott. <laughs> yeah. That'd be a cool thing. Because when I get ready for a tour, like the ma- my main thing, everyone has to get their voice ready or whatever it is. My main thing is learning the fucking lyrics. It takes me forever. So scatting mm. would be I mean, probably, probably do scat every once in a while. Really? Learning your own lyrics? Learning my own lyrics is fucking hard because cause of the way I write is like, you know, because people have to, you know, my, my band has to sing harmony with me. So if I, if I sing a wrong line, they got the wrong line. So it's like, there's some there's a song called Can't Fuck You Off My Mind where it's just like, yeah. while Rita's blowing me, I mean, it's like, I got to remember who's doing, what girl's oh, doing what right. to who. Right. To, to mm. what. So I got to have them all right and in order. I know? always, you know, I'm a, I have zero musical skill and... When I would do... That's not true. You can scat. I can scat. But when I, I would... I think that, that statement's Do very basic stuff. Uh, you know, years ago, like learn these four keys. The idea, you know, I had to put so much thought into doing it. One of the things that seems terrifying is you, you, you realize at the time that when you're doing it and you're like, wow, I finally got this together, that to sing while you're doing that, for some people, would be, like, would be impossible oh my for God. me. Like, I would not be able to... Yeah, I didn't really sing that much until you know, I had the guitar down pretty good because I was too shy about singing when I first started. But yeah, I had the guitar down good enough, so I would. I actually was I, when I was a kid. You know, I first Did you started, know you could sing. I knew it, but I was too scared to really, you know, growing up with a bunch of big family. I was too. Oh, kind of, right. I was too shy to kind of belt it out. Um, you have siblings. Yeah, two brothers. Do, what do they think of your music um, career? I was gonna say mixed things. My mom uh, came. My mom's from Nashville, so she comes to Nashville a lot. So she, we had a record release show, I think, for the last one, and I think that was um, one of the oddest things I've ever done. I, I she was for the first record she came up to the show, and I'm obviously you play no matter what you're just your eyes because I always wear shades on all the time, but yeah. I'm mainly on special on stage for the lights, and so I'm playing and I just could I had to watch my mom and thinking fuck you bitch. <laughs> I've never I've never at, in all my years I've never seen this look from her, which was. This weird kind of like proud, giant crowd, you know, yeah. people people buying T-shirts and singing along. And this other like half of her face was like, what the fuck did I do wrong? Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like, mom, this ain't, song ain't about you, you know. Right. But I, was, I played the whole song and watched her face the whole time. And I would, it's not something I would advise anybody to do. I don't like having my mom at shows. That's, you know, I don't sing, obviously. But, but has she come to shows? She's come to shows and usually she'll... It's some version of uh, that was great, um, and then at some point she'll be like, "Yeah, why do you have to? 
God, you say a lot. I was going to say, it's probably the exact same thing, which yeah. is, you know, my, I get a lot of, you know, your voice is so pretty, you don't need to say the bad words, yeah. you know? But yeah. that's like, well, all right. Like, She'll point out another comic. She'll like, you know who doesn't even say the F oh word? Boy. Like, yeah, she's, cool. Yeah, she's like, Garth Brooks doesn't need to, 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 to say the to say the needs doesn't need to talk about sitting on people's faces. I'm like, well, if he did, he'd be even bigger. Yeah, he sure would. He sure. He's such a wank. He's a. Uh, here we go. We follow his social media. The dream still lives, and my dream is for us to love one another, all of us. Oh uh, my gosh! Isn't that weird? All of us. All of us. What dream just... still is this? Was this? Was this the MLK one? <laughs> yeah. Probably. But also, it's the most generic thing. Like, you won't even mention MLK. Just like oh, the dream. Everybody's dream. Like, it can not, be anybody. A, not a lot of emotion in those no, eyes. No, he's no. dead there. <laughs> oh, all of us. And he, he leans in yeah. and he doesn't really connect and with you. And why do you go, all of us? Because yeah, like, it's dirty. That sounds like it went. It's for us to love one another. All of us. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I fuck. I fucking hate that guy. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's it's weird because you say that now. I mean, just because country music has gotten so shitty, um, you know. Because when I was a kid, there was all that good country, and Garth came along, and he was the pop sellout. Mm. So I'm still from that era. But nowadays, yeah. when there's such this horrible shit, people you've probably never heard of, like Florida Georgia Line, and you know all this other fucking dog shit. It's like pop country. Yeah, it's like pop country, like Florida Georgia Line, who just got off a tour with Backstreet Boys and Nelly. Mm. Have fun, oh, wow. have fun at that one. But I'm saying, like, <laughs> that's the people I hate now. But at the time, it was, Garth was the sellout. Yeah. You know, that there's a, there's a famous quote attributed to Waylon, but we don't, nobody knows if um, Waylon said it or not. But the quote was, you know, Garth Brooks did to, did to country what uh, panties did to finger fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think, I mean, it's definitely a quote because I said it, but. Yeah. It's I, definitely a quote. But I don't know that, and everyone says oh. it, says, everyone says it's a Waylon Jennings quote, but I don't know if it it's is. It's a cool quote. It's a good quote, but it yeah. kind of is, you know, it's like, yeah. he really just kind of sanitized it for everyone. Yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. I mean, it's the most fucking generic. Oh, it's terrible. Like, if you didn't wear the cowboy hat, would you know it was country? No, I, I don't. You know what bothers me the most? Because I don't know much about country music, but I just find him to be so insincere and such a fucking phony baloney. Which is weird because that's what country's all about is right. the sincerity. That's and what I, I really like that. What I know is that, yeah, you're supposed to be real and you keep it real, even if you have like millions of dollars. And I just I just don't sense that from him. I just I don't connect. I, I don't know. He seems like he's a sociopath, kind of. He seems fucking crazy because we, you and I, you guys and I both watch those fucking G alerts <laughs> yeah. where he does the, he breaks in with a G alert of, yeah. it couldn't be any, couldn't be less important or anything. Right. Or anything. <laughs> so G weird. alert, he's playing fucking Tulsa, you know? Right. Yeah. Right. Right. G alert. Yeah. G alert. Yeah, so they let the conversation begin. <laughs> so creepy. So creepy. And, he, and he's also, he's, he's, he's just, he reminded me a little bit of, um, I was just thinking about Prince today when that uh, that other that news kind of came out about him, uh, whatever they figured out what kind of drugs he was on, but kind of that thing where he's just kind of lost in his own world. Yeah. Like he won't, he's not on iTunes. I don't know if you knew that. Prince? No, Garth. Oh, I did, I knew Prince. But you couldn't buy a lot of his. I didn't know about Garth. Garth. Well, first of all, his um, Chris Gaines is wiped from the internet. It's yeah, gone. so crazy. good. Yeah. yeah, but but Garth is not. On iTunes or any of the other places, he's only on Amazon. Why? Because he made some fucking giant. Well, first, before all that shit, he's like, "Fuck iTunes, man! I'll just make like Garth P3s and sell them myself." Yeah. So on his website, you could buy like I really think Garth it was P3. called. I think it really was called like GP3s, and you can yeah. just buy them directly from him. Like he likes his own initial a lot. But you, yeah, exactly. But it's like. No, dude, that's not how the shit works. You know, no. it's like, it's like the idea of like in the old days, he would build like a Garth Records next to Tower Records thing, and people would just go in there. He's like, I'm not playing this fucking game. He's like, I'm only gonna make my own versions of MP3s and sell them on my website. But people don't go to people's websites and buy no fucking no. albums. You got to be where everyone else is buying albums. Sure. But now he finally, and I'm sure Amazon paid him a shitload. Yeah. And now here I am endorsing his. Telling people to go to Amazon, but yeah, to all, the only way you can listen to them digitally is Amazon. That's crazy. What about Studio G? Yeah, yeah, Studio G's got it. Let me ask you this about, I, I'm so curious because I know nothing about it, but you know, in comedy, if a huge comic um, wants you to open for him, it's usually a personal connection. Um, like you would actually talk to the person or maybe like their assistant or something. But when you book a major music tour, 
like this Kid Rock thing, is that a person like do you, does he call you or is that just like your agent talked to his? And- yeah, my manager talked to his manager, but I did. I played. He has a thing called the Fish Fry. His like the Kid Rock Fish Fry. It's like a summer festival he does in Nashville, and I played that last year, and uh, we you know talked for a few minutes, and he mentioned maybe touring with him, mm-hmm. and then he went on tour, and I never heard like I was just like oh, I guess it yeah. ain't happening. Then we called for this fall tour. I was just like, obviously, came around or, you know, something opened up. And um, yeah, I just got the, you know, you want to do it? I'm like, hmm. yeah, let's play some fucking, you know. Like I, like I was saying before, I always pictured this music in big places. To me, they sound like fucking anthems. So just to even, even if the sh- crowd isn't, sh- I mean, I, my guess is Kid Rock fans probably get to the show early and start drinking. But even if it was an empty fucking amphitheater, it'd still be cool to play, you know, play those big fucking places. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I bet they get there early and party. Like yeah. Said. yeah. Make it in a, a And day. by the way, empty there is still thousands. Exactly. That's the thing, too, I got to probably get used to, which is looking out and seeing empty seats, mm-hmm. n- knowing that still 10 times the audience I usually play That's to. It's pretty crazy. It's yeah. pretty nuts, man. Um, so this is a, I don't know, this is an anti drinking. What is this? Anti drinking ad from New Zealand. Okay. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I haven't seen it yet, but let's see what it is. I cannot hold it. <laughs> this is my photographs. Airplane man. Come on, man, you're right. Come on. They just killed the kid. Don't, wow. I mean, Whoa. I guess that is a reason not to drink, but it doesn't seem like near the top of the list. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, who's swinging kids around when they get hammered? I mean, yeah, it's not my first choice. By the way, I, I do that sober too. You know? <laughs> right. I also wouldn't go crying. Go crying. And just sit outside. Right. Like a sissy. Well, you know what'd be interesting is to get uh, Wheeler's reaction on those videos from last week. No, please. Let's just which let's, ones? Just I know see. which ones. <laughs> okay, yeah, I want to see it. Now, yeah. now I gotta see. It. Just, just tell. I just want to just watch. You know. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it actually, that's. <laughs> he turned out better than I thought he was gonna. I mean, first, I mean, okay. <laughs> Face is kind of funny, but that scream, it's a funny scream. It's a great scream, but also when you play it, I was like, fuck, am I going to watch somebody die here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, and yeah. like that's like, that guy yeah. needs to hit the hit the gym. <laughs> that's a good scream. <laughs> so, so that's one. Verified funny. Yeah. Um, this is a, uh-huh. another one. This is a guy. I always love the, because that last one, didn't you think it's like, why exactly were they filming that again? Yeah, I know. I filming the car come off. I don't know. He didn't jump that far. I mean, that's an uncomfortable jump for sure. But yeah, I mean, his no, I, he broke his leg. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's off of the top of a truck thing. But you know. But I'm saying he didn't jump 20 feet. You know, he probably uh-huh. jumped what six, seven. He probably, fucked like, some that, shit up. That guy's yeah. probably that was probably like the 12th time he broke his ankle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so this is a military exercise. A, a bunch of guys jump out of a plane, and this guy's parachute. Is open, oh but God. apparently it's not. I don't know. It's not a hundred percent the way it's supposed to be. Okay. Okay. So. Oh, this is gonna suck. So you know he's like, oh shit. Uh, hey. Uh, was he in there right something? now? Yeah. See, they're all. He just knows. Ah! 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 <laughs> <laughs> I mean that that that's that means definitely verified funny. Yeah. That one you don't know. Cause sometimes when you know you're gonna get hurt, I sometimes scream extra because I know it'll yeah. like kind of soothe you pain. a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I wonder if he's doing that. I don't. I'm curious what happened to his parents. The segment actually is supposed to be called horrible or hilarious, and you're two for two that they're hilarious. Yeah, but also anything with a parachute, if you're okay, yeah. I think you can. He's okay. He's yeah, okay. I don't think this guy broke anything. Oh, he um, definitely oh, he broke did. his leg. Oh, um, too much. It fucking hurts so bad. Oh God. 
Oh god, it's so fucking bad. Oh god. <laughs> ah, it's so good. It yeah. He knows. Ay, ay, ay. Ah, I got two fingers. Oh god! <laughs> the right one! Oh, two fingers! It's fucking soft! Oh god! Okay. Yeah. Oh god! You got yeah, I, I'm not. <laughs> It's not as hilarious. Like I, I see the sounds are funny. Like I get the, yeah, but that's the what sounds we're laughing are funny. At. No, but I think you're laughing at more than that. What like do you, you mean? like that the guys are getting hurt. No, I don't. I it think gives it's you funny pleasure sound. a little bit. It's a bit. funny sound. <laughs> it's definitely funny if someone's hurt and it's not you. If they lived, yeah, see? yeah, well, that's that's yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, totally. I, I was like thinking about that. I, I was on a Southwest yesterday. And I like I love I always get the window seat so people don't bother me and I'm just sitting there next to that fucking window like. Looking to my right, like, does this guy have the strength to pull me back in, like, in case <laughs> no. I get sucked out? Yeah. Because I actually, I posted on Instagram, I said, you know, hey, Southwest, if I get sucked out this, before my plane took off, if I get sucked out this window, you know, put this window, make sure this window goes to the country music all the time. Somebody, I don't know, who is very uh, expressive about pronouncing my name correctly. No. I've never heard somebody like okay. this before. I don't know what this is. Hey, guys. So... There's this uh, Latin American comedian that, like, I am obsessed with, named Tomas Segura, <laughs> and uh, a bunch of like, I always hear people like, there's a lot of people know him, but they always like, come like, hey, do you know Tom Segura? I'm like, yes, I know Tomas Segura. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like, are you like? I'm so tired of people yeah, running yeah. around, like, pretending that people's names aren't pronounced. Like, my name is Joshua Brown. Okay. And I, that's not a hard one to do. Yeah. So, Burt Kreischer. Oh, yeah. Joshua Brown. Tomas Segura. Vladimir Putin. <laughs> Latin Can American. Can we fucking start getting it right? Yeah. Please? It's, good, it's a good point, Joshua. Mm. You, got, you got diverse fans. I do. And they... <laughs> and you, who, it's comfortable. It's nice to see your fans telling you you're t saying your name wrong. Say my name, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would appreciate if more of you said it like Josh did, correctly. Tomas Segura. Yeah. It's yeah, I was actually just thinking about you the other day because I, I got a new place. I got a new place in a, a new place in Nashville, and I was the the guy who runs the building. You know, he's, he's like, oh man, I'm a big because I always kind of hope they don't know who I am. Yeah, sure. Like, I'll fuck his, like, because they do got to do a background check and they get, like. They get worried about maybe not getting excited about the place, but the dude was cool, and he's like, "Man, I don't know if you you probably get the same thing too." There's like, "Man, I love Tom Segura." Yeah, and I'm just like, "But you get probably get about other people." I'm like, mm -hmm. "Yeah, well, I was on his, po you know, what do you think about me?" Like, I, <laughs> right. I mean, I get that too. It like shows, you know, man, fucking Rogan, you know? Yeah, I'm, and I'm like, I did go a see show. Go see Rogan. Go see. I know. I did a show. <laughs> In um, Atlanta, so I had a, I had a part in a movie though, so I've been flying back and forth. And What's the movie? It's a a, a big family Scenes. comedy. He's doing guy uh, it's called girl, Instant Family. Boy girl. It doesn't come out for a while, but it's a big movie. It has Mark Wahlberg, Rose Byrne, Octavia Spencer, like big big stars in it. So I've Congrats, been flying. Man. Thank you. I've been flying back and forth, and I I I added a couple shows to do while I'm in town because you have days off, you know, when you're shooting, and so. Uh, for the first one, a bunch a bunch of crew, you know, they, they told me they wanted to come, so I, I leave tickets for them, and same things happen. I'm going back next week. And uh, the next day, like, I didn't see a lot, most of them after the show, but I see them the next day on set, and uh, <laughs> one of the uh, crew people, a uh, woman, was like, oh, it was a lot of fun last night. We really enjoyed it. And I go, thanks. She goes, you ever seen John Mulaney? Oh, my and I go, yeah. yeah. She goes, he's great. And yeah. I go, yeah, he is great. And they're like, yeah, I love everything he does. And I go, thanks. Yeah. So it's like, <laughs> we think of someone who does what you do, but who I like more. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah she, like, she laid it out for me, and I was like, no, I, he's very popular. You know who it. is funny? Yeah. So-and-so. You know who's really funny? Else. Not you. You're like, you just saw me, though. Yeah. <laughs> you think I get that. Like, like, you heard David Allen Coe? He's fucking awesome. I'm yeah. like, yeah, I dig him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you should, um, you should be like him. And you're like, yeah. Now, do the Latins really claim you a lot? Uh, you, you know what happens? People claim you, um, who enjoy you, for whatever they can claim you for. In yeah, other words, yeah, sure, sure. You know, I, I spent time growing up in Florida. Floridians would be like, "You're a Florida boy," 
I was born in Ohio. Ohio people were like, you're an Ohioan. You know? That's like, very true. So yeah, yeah. if somebody is like, you know, I've had people come up to me like super Latin people after the show. You're one of us. Like they are, you know, they identify with that part of me. So they're like, that's who you are. Right. Yes, what everything, you know, it's like, um, yeah, I get the Kentucky thing a lot too. Like there was a map of like, you know, country stars from Kentucky, but I'm from central Kentucky. So mm -hmm. it was cool because I was, they put my face, like they showed like, you know, Stapleton, Sturgill, where everyone's from. My head's like right in the fucking middle. There you and they're go. Like, and there everyone's comments like, you know, why the fuck is he in the middle? It's like they're just showing where he lives. Where he lives, right? Yeah. Yeah, but it looks like you know they're all stuff fucking surrounding him. Well, awesome. I got upset on Wikipedia. It says I was born in Toronto, Canada. Oh yeah. Which is not true. Not true. I'm proud Windsor native. Right. Windsor, Ontario. So much better. So much nicer. So much What's nicer. What's that? Like? I've still I've never been to Canada. You never well, been? <clears throat> no. We got. I get a. We we we. Do. The tour is gonna hit there, right? This tour won't. No. But yeah. I've, oh. I got a tour there sometimes because. We, we do sell a decent amount of records there. I gotta go. How much of a uh, will the tour hit the whole nation? The the Kid Rock one? Yeah, I mean, I don't know the exact. I do know, I know for a fact we're playing California, and I know we're playing New York, and Florida. So those three alone makes me. Is there an LA show? No, there's um, I don't think, or maybe one of those. You know, like one of those things that I think might be kind of considered LA, like maybe some kind of. Or Shoreline Amphitheater, what's that? The Shoreline is... that is, San Francisco? Yeah, it's, it's near there. It's massive. I feel like there's something else. I've done the Shoreline. It's really crazy. You guys really? might do like Riverside or San Bernardino, right? Outside I LA forget. a little bit. I, would, I, I don't remember. I once opened up for Ted Nugent way back in the day, and he had, he played like near Riverside or something like that. You opened up for Ted Nugent? A million years ago. And I was not qualified, and I ate such shit, and it was the worst thing ever. Seems like a hard gig, because in the old days, so a lot hard. of comedians open up for rock, yeah, like for, rock stars. Oh, for stars. so that hard. Seemed, that seems fucking hard. I would turn it down 100% <laughs> across the board. I know. should have. I just didn't know any of better. Of course. No, no, I was you like, had, it's, a, it's not in my audience yeah. at all, dude. Yeah, I've, I've almost terrible. heard no good stories about that. Yeah, one of my first shows, I did um, two shows for David Allen Co., and the because of the I didn't get paid shit, so the first show... To, to pay for a band the second show, I just did the first show acoustic by myself, which is probably close to, you know, the point being, you know, and you can hear, you know, you can hear the fucking crowd talking. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I, 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 just, I just can't stand it. You know? Yeah, I know. Fultron has that great story about opening from uh, for uh, Brendan Flowers from The Killers. Oh, I, I don't remember. It's great. It's, but I mean, I'll let him, t I think he's told it, he may have told it on our show, but he's definitely told the story. It's, well, I had Joey Diaz sure? do a bunch of dates out here with me. How was that? That was fucking great. That's different, though. It's different, yeah, because he can really get him psyched. I mean, it was a, it was, it was a perfect match. And the shows were great, and people, you know, hmm. he gets, has kind of like a, there's kind of a, you know, rock star aura yeah. where he's like kind of screaming, people are, you know, into him. Plus, you go on that podcast and tell people you're playing. All his guys show up, so that had to be fun. That's that was nice. really fun. Yeah, um, was that at the Microsoft something here? It was something. What was it called? The Novo. The Novo. I think it is. Yeah, I remember seeing. Is that big venue? Yeah, is, I right? mean, it was, it was big for me. It was like um, I don't know, theater like fifteen hundred or something. Yeah, but isn't that it's a uh, it's downtown area? Yeah, I think it, and they they have an adjoining other venue. The Microsoft. I don't know. Here's all. Here's the only thing I know, which I, I've never met before. But it's a mom's, your mom's house exclusive. Mm. I hired off Craigslist. Um, I hired protesters to hold up. You know, like, you know, screw a wheeler, all this stuff, and we hired them and fucking paid these dudes whatever twenty bucks a piece for half an hour to protest my show because I was gonna film it and go out there and I was gonna fight them all. That's hilarious. And uh, because it's it's like that kind of like downtown area. It's like. There's a bunch of, it's like across from Staples, there's a bunch of shit there. Yeah. And they fucking bust, they, they wouldn't allow cameras and they, and they made the, the protesters leave. And I tried to, I was like, you gotta explain to, it's hard to explain to the cops that it's a fucking bit. It's a bit. Yeah, I'm, I pay, fucking paid them all. So yeah. I had a whole thing ready because I was gonna fucking, you know, put them in chokeholds and take them out, you know. And then fucking, you know. And we, I'd called all the local news stations to come out too. You did? I don't think anyone of them showed up because there's nothing to show up to. Mm. Yeah, it's too bad. Mm. Um, this is a. If you ever heard of the Pink Preacher? No. This is a guy. I, I guess he. I don't know. I'll just I'll let you see what he does. All right, uh, Vinu here, and I'm joined by the Pink Preacher. Awesome, man. So, hey, it's great seeing you here. <laughs> and you look incredible. I mean, you look awesome. Thank you, man. Yeah. Dude, I love your hair. I mean, hey, thank you. Thank you. This. 
It's um, it's also that's a such a indicator when uh, somebody says like "great to see you" or something, you start laughing. Like, yeah. Like, the, like what are you laughing Drugs. at, man? Why are you laughing yeah, at that? What is your story, man? What, what what's your story? A couple. Um, well, basically, um, three months ago, I was in bed around 11 o'clock at night, sleeping. I'm a great sleeper, and God woke me up and says uh, he had me go to my phone, and on my phone was a photo of a billboard that uh, said, "Read this," and it made me laugh. It said, "Don't go to church. It's all fake news." This is, I guess, somewhat reminiscent of people you see on Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah, it's exactly. Anytime, anytime you hear, you know, what's your story, and the, oh, the, this this long story, this story begins three months ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not. It's not. This is not hit. You know, it's not his time. life calling, really. Yeah. No. But what happened is God pushed me in that night. Now again, it's around eleven fifteen. Then I then I saw that in Oklahoma, I followed the links in the article, and they said that in 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 March they're having a um, atheist convention. Right. Well, God says I want you to go to that convention. I'm yeah. like, Do you fucking? Do you, I feel like there's people who went to high school with him who are just like, oh, Ronnie was a piece of shit. Like, they're watching this right now. Mm -hmm. that's, no. that's, that's the look of a... That guy does not need to be near the internet, you know? Right. No. It's just like everything. Like, God had me click this link. Yeah. God, you know, <laughs> yeah. God asked me to, you know, buy this fucking... You know, plasma screen on Amazon <laughs> shit. You know, <laughs> God told me to you know mm. order these glasses and that stupid fucking. And this piece of shit goes to nightclubs and preaches to people. The reason I wear the crazy oh, outfit, no. I do something called uh, nightclub organization or oh, nightclub no. outreach. Three and a half years ago, again, God, stop waking me up at not at, at eleven o'clock. Three and a half years God. ago, I was sleeping. God woke me up and says, "Go a minister." I said, "Where God? Seven Eleven? Because what's open?" He goes, "You're gonna go to the nightclubs." Now watch this, guys. I've been married ten years. I go in. He's I said, "Hey, married. honey, I'm gonna go to the nightclubs because God wants me to." Yeah, she says. She says, "Okay, I'll pray for you." Oh, I hate him so much. Can you imagine his, 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 probably his wife tell, you know, whispering, so <laughs> whispering into his ear. Yeah. You know, you should go out at night to nightclubs and preach. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever gets you out of the fucking house. Whatever gets you away from you. A guy told yeah. me to go to strip mm. clubs, get this lab is, dances, and do cocaine. So, do you remember the guy that made, obviously, the prank call with yeah. your yes, voice? Yes, yes, yeah. So, we had a, a listener make a call. Using Christina's voice. Her actual voice. Her actual yeah. like, yeah. recordings of her call a sex line and talk to the sex operator that she was into scat play. Like, I'm not singing, <laughs> but shit. It was yeah, fantastic. It was a great call. And uh, even um, when they had Christina go too far, um, like said something about Hitler and the sex <laughs> operator was like, that's a little too much for me. And like, it was really, really well done. Now they are having, uh, I guess this is a call that they used me my voice, I think Ari, Joe, and maybe Bert, but no, I, I, I haven't heard it. I just know that this is... Is it the same dude? I think the same guy made it, yeah. Same guy made it. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? You enjoying the day? Uh, to tell you the truth, where I live, it's uh, 80 degrees today. It's uh, We've been getting hit with a lot of snow and stuff, so it's been beautiful. I've been hanging out on the back porch <laughs> drinking gin and tonics, to tell you the truth. Fantastic. That sounds great. Me and the birds. Mm -hmm. You and the birds. Well, you're sitting on the back porch listening to the birds, and I'm sitting here playing with this big pecker watching porn. <laughs> Are you? Well, when I sit outside, I normally have my hand down my pants. I'm playing with my nuts anyway, but... Oh. <laughs> you play with your nuts while listening to the birds? Yeah, yeah. How, how big's your pecker, by the way? It's, it's all right. It's six and a half. But I got girth. Six and a half is nice. I invited some friends over because we really want you to, uh, to listen to us fuck. <laughs> All the guys I've been with are like, man, you have a hot cock. So. Oh, man. I bet your cock is beautiful. Oh. <laughs> oh I think there's somebody coming. That company? Hey, how's it going, man? <laughs> oh, hey, Tom. Oh, my friend Tom just got here. Hey, Tom. You look great, Tom. I showered today. Oh. You smell really good. <laughs> what do you want to do, Tom? Let's jack off. Yeah, you want to see Tom and I jack off? Oh, I'd love to see that. Are you kidding? <laughs> this is really just... Uh, hold on one sec. I'm going to go get your favorite 
Big, mushy, purple dildo. Hold on. Oh, no way. Come on. <laughs> Touch it. Put your hand on it. All right, you ready, Tom? Yeah. I'm trying to nut. All right, Tom. I'm, I'm about to hook up with a guy right now. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Oh. Oh. Go, Tom. Go, oh. Tom. Go, Tom. <laughs> There's a lot more. You want yeah, to more? yeah, I love it. I'm really impressed with his. He's like that's a. It's a lot of work. It's a lot so of work. So professional. Yeah. Oh. oh wow. What do you want to do now, oh, Tom? Wow. Let's pick up the pace a little bit. Do you like uh, circumcised cocks? Yeah. Actually, Carl says he's got a beautiful circumcised cock. I do. How do you want it, Tom? But I want it hardcore. I want to see it going in and out. <laughs> Fuck, Tom. Get ready. You know what we're here to do. Oh. oh. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Oh, somebody else is in the oh, 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 my God. Uh. Oh, who is that? Oh, the fuck. Somebody there? Oh, it's Uncle Joey. <coughs> I'm going to stick it in your ass. <laughs> Why don't we just hang out and come on each other? Yeah. Just put it in my ass. You have to be a gentleman. That Uncle Joey. Oh, oh my God. Jeez. <laughs> really sad. No, you drive me crazy with those gorilla fingers. Oh, oh it looks like beef jerky. Oh. Uh, oh. Come in. Oh. A really big dick. Oh. I would machine gun your ass with my tongue. <laughs> you gotta spit their asshole. Oh, whoa, go to Joe Rogan's here. Holy shit, what is this? Well, it looks like a well, fucking Joe. Yeah. Well, you two go fuck T Buns in his pooper. Fuck yeah. Okay. DP in the same hole. <laughs> At some point, you don't need the guy on the other end. I know, know. right? There's just so much. Drop the kablooey on him. Oh, Oh, somebody else. Somebody went kablooey. Who the fuck is Bert? Oh, I really like my dick in your ass. Oh, God. Show me the monkey. That's a lot of Really crazy. What the fuck? Sounds like a lot of guys. Oh, great. Now it's Bert. <laughs> oh, I'm back, baby. Give me those, oh. cocks, and rape me. This guy seems cool. I love when guys suck my dick. Oh, my God. Suck on me. Oh, my. it's making my stomach turn. It's, it's a lot of noise. It's a lot of But it's really well done. Jizzing. I mean, this guy is a master. Yeah, I love these people now. Like, people, people, people don't have, Oof. not that many people have jobs, you know? They got, <laughs> they got shit. They just got so much time, to, you know? Like, they, they learned... Think about all that. They learned to be an engineer. So yeah. much work. To they do learned this. how to like grab clips from the fucking you know iTunes or the internet or whatever. All that shit takes oh, hours and hours. Hours. Tom, most of these clips I remember from our show, from your pop's house. Yeah, I know. This is all on our show. It's a oh, lot. Oh, it? oh my god, man! I'm curious. I'm, curious yeah, I'm crazy like that. What's that? I'm curious what Joy was talking about. Yeah. Oh, oh. Fucking crazy. Oh. oh. Finger banging your asshole at the same time. Dude, how the fuck is he doing that? Oh, yeah. It's so nice. Banging me in the fucking oh, ass. We're gonna stop. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. It sounds so fucking hot. Oh, my <laughs> asshole hurts. Oh, fuck. I gotta fart so bad. Just fart. What's the big deal? Fuck, <laughs> man. Yeah, it's only a fart. <laughs> oh. oh. I fucking love to oh, come yeah. and fuck Tom to death. Yeah. Straight perverted stuff. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is real degenerate stuff. Go Tom. <laughs> Jesus So is there Christ. just like a, a constant like guys in the background? Noise? Yeah. Just, just yeah. guys just doing it. Just guys fucking in the background. Jesus Christ. Really intense. There's one last clip. I have to. Uh, we owe him the respect to play the last clip. Well, I, I, how does it end? Who let's, knows? Let's, let's see. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. I'm proud of myself. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. It's kind of hard for me to hang in here. What the fuck? Oh. You like that dick? Oh. oh. Oh yeah. 
Thank you. Your time is up for this call. Goodbye. There you go. That's it. Wow. Kind that of a vague was... ending. You know, no, yeah. <laughs> no real, you, don't, you don't really tie up the story on that. Yeah. Sounds like a lot of guys. <laughs> like a lot of guys. Wow. I'm spent just listening to uh, that. I don't even know. It doesn't even say the name here, but you really are a master of these. I'm Jesus. Really, really impressed. Thank you for doing that. Thank you probably had to pay a ton for that call, too. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Because I used to do that my, you know, my friend's house. Sorry, guys. We, gotta pee. We get those, like, $100. Their parents would get those $100 bills, you know. You'd call sex operators? We'd, call, we, we'd, we'd, we'd prank them, you know. Because oh. I think it was kind of like we wanted to, um, we were horny that we actually wanted to call them, but we'd pretend it was a prank, you know. Oh, right, right. You know, like, tell, you know, talk about your boobs, you know. Yeah. She'd get real sexual, and we'd just we'd be fucking giggling and shit, and then... They call my parents, like, I owe them, like, a hundred bucks, you know, a hundred bucks for that. It was always you. They're like, Wheeler came over. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was, it was fucking, I mean, well, you're from kind of a smaller place, too, but just, just nothing to fucking do. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I never did it. I never called. I think I was probably more terrified of, of, uh, getting in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Did you do much prank, prank calling, though? We did some prank calling. I remember one time, you know, in the, in the sort of the same way. Uh, we would prank call cute girl, like girls we liked from school, call and hang up or like you know do voices. Yeah, it was fun before uh, you know caller ID and shit. I remember before caller ID, a girl knew. That yeah. was so terrible. Well, we, we used to. We had one buddy who had um, he was the first guy we ever knew who his parents. Were, I think his dad was in some kind of business. They had two phone lines, mm -hmm. so we would do the we would call two uh. people at the same time, and if they picked up at the same time, they'd be talking to each other. So we'd call like a girl in high school, Hilarious. like a guy who had a crush on a girl in high school, yeah, and they just hook them up together. So he thought she called, and she thought he called, and they're just like, "That you know, who is this? You know, that's it's really Susie. Funny. Oh, who? It's it's Brad. You know, oh, thanks for calling. I didn't call you. Know, like, yeah, we just listened to them basically, because we were basically jealous, you know. Of course, you know, when this girl told me this is like fifth grade, man, she was like, "I know that you called me," and I was like, "I didn't call," because we'd called. Obviously, and I don't know how. Like they, uh, back then, you, it was like you, you have to ask the operator. Yeah, we we I, we had busted a couple of times. People would uh, call. Yeah, I, th I don't know if it was the cops or somebody. With you know, that I just got a threat on the phone. Can you? you know, Oof. Yeah. And you have to get like a, I remember you get like a um, like a reverse phone phone book. You know where you mm -hmm. get that, where it tells you what the numbers are. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I I don't know. It definitely the game changed for sure when uh, when it became everybody has caller ID. Oh yeah, because I you know I'm doing a, a the Wheeler podcast where people call in on my voicemail and leave messages. Mm -hmm. So I did you know, obviously I wanted it to be real, have my real phone, and now it is my real phone, but I got a new phone. So we're doing a you know, people a podcast where people call in, I'll answer their questions. What line well, do they call you? You get a second line. Yeah, I got a second line for me, but it's still my real. No this one's still my real number. Oh, it is. But it's on my. It's on my Twitter and my Instagram. You can call in and leave and, messages. Uh, leave messages. Wheeler, the Wheeler Walker Junior Podcast. This is season two coming up. Um, the same people, the ATC, those same dudes you're working with. Um, oh yeah, they're great. They're awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Helping me out a ton on it, because I can't do all that fucking shit. I can't. I'm not this guy. I can't edit and shit. You know. Yeah. Um, you know, I have a, I've had a bunch of bets, challenges with Bert Kreischer and, uh, and you fucking killed him on the, the, the weight loss. Oh yeah. Yeah. Looks like you're still keeping it off too. Yeah. Trying man. Um, I work out four or five days a week, trying to eat dog shit all the time, but this is a dog shit eating challenge. So, you know, donut holes. Oh fuck. Yeah. We're going to see who can eat more in 12 minutes. Who's, who's we? Bert and I. Oh. It's a contest. It's kind of the anti contest that you had before. It is the anti contest. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I don't know. I think, I feel like Bert's the kind of guy who could really wolf some food down. Yeah, I mean, he feels like he's like been at a million parties where he's been, all, people have lost money betting against him on I know. food. Um, somebody, you, you practicing at all? No, nah, this, this, somebody said here that this is a new suggestion. Famous drinking game, a participant called the Power Hour. It's, the rules are simple drink one shot of beer every minute for an hour straight. No, more or less. I feel like this would be a great dynamic for the donut challenge. Simply set an alarm to go off, eat one or two donut holes every minute until one of you taps out. No, because that would take too long. I don't want to fucking yeah, do no, it. Yeah, no, that's not fun. That's a horrible suggestion. Yeah, do one, yeah, you can do it on the podcast. Or on yeah, the like, that's why we set a time limit. It's about how many can you eat in a time limit. 
you is you think part of his thing will be do or either one of you going to do more than like show a bunch in at once? Well, I saw him yesterday um, on Instagram on his stories. He was at the airport and he stopped by a Krispy Kreme and he kept posting himself eating different donuts. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, it's a, it's a it's a good question. Which theory would work the best? Because it's like one at a time you can go fast, but like five at a time it takes longer to chew. Yeah, we're figuring know. out the donut challenge, you know. And what what are we talking about now? Which part well, of the he's debate? He's saying like, would you do m- multiple ones at one? Like in other words, oh, those holes you could do like cram five them at in. A time. Yeah. Well, is time the essence? Yeah, you're up yeah. against the clock. We How have much? Twelve minute time limit. Ooh. Uh, yeah, and I think that's the advantage of doing the donut holes is that you can train two at a time. You're right, you can go one. Two, I was going to say two. maybe squash them together, and then that's a good idea. But that might be an unfair thing. What if crumbs leave, and then now that that contributes to it being a lesser it's donut? An, it's an interesting less point. volume. Yeah, we got we got. Who's the judge for this? I am. Right. She's okay. going to be the judge. Okay. I, I have to think this through. And I gotta say, the more I tell, I've talked to people about it the more I realize how formidable an opponent for eating bird is. No. Everyone has been saying, they're like, I bet that dude can crush some donuts. No. Wait, now, have you two decided on the type? Is it an old-fashioned donut no, hole, I need, I need chocolate? I'll call him after this. I think we should decide, and you guys should have to do the same type of donut. It only seems fair. That seems fair, yeah. I'll let yeah. him pick. I'll let him pick. Okay. You're, Feels you're like sure? glazed yeah. would be the one. that's the old the classic. Right? I think yeah. that's going to be less dense than the chocolate, but for some reason the chocolate donut holds. Chocolate. I think the other thing you're going to think about is I think as I'm thinking about it, I think you're going to realize how long 12 minutes is. Oof, that's a good point. You're going to be shoving them in. And you're going to be thinking like how much longer it's going to look. You're going to be 11 minutes 30. Seconds. Well, yeah. that's a good point because <laughs> yeah. how long is Nathan's hot dog eating contest? That's like. That's Cup, nothing. A couple yeah. minutes, yeah. Yeah, those guys. Yeah, you're allowed to do that because that their big thing is water, right? Yeah, yeah. You can you can do water. Yeah, you, you can be able to do water. Get them wet and shove them. Now, do we want to allow? That's a good point, Wheeler. Do we want to allow water dunking in milk or whatever? Or do you want to? Can you add hot do- hot dog buns? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking about how long 12 minutes is. Yeah. <laughs> so long. You can do a lot in 12. 12 minutes. minutes. I mean, what's a what's I mean. Like you the Cosby, everything. how long was the Cosby show? That was like, it's like half the Cosby 22 show. 22 minutes. That's right, 22 minutes. <laughs> I used to sit around and eat donuts watching the Cosby show. I didn't do, I didn't eat them nonstop for half the show. <laughs> That's <laughs> a long time. And it's a long if you're like, time. I feel pretty full and then you're like, you got seven minutes left. So, so then maybe, <laughs> take maybe, a little break. maybe the challenge here is not so much cramming two at a time, but pacing yourself and yep. finding what that pace is. Yeah, I'll bet the winners, if you just won, 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 yeah, won, is the way won. to do it. Then it's just, if you eat at a way that's just not going to make yourself sick and you just do it, you know. <laughs> Tortoise in the hair. <laughs> but see, that's the thing is, I don't think he'll go slow. No, I think he'll no. do three at a time nonstop for 12 minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think the final score is going to be something funny, like 82 to six or something. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right. I think that Bert tends to go in excess. He's going to do the Mickey Mantle gene thing and, yeah. and like really cramp. So and I've never, I, you know, thing? people have told me, you friends, man, uh, you eat fast. You eat, yeah, and then I've you only been in awe of him. I've never even come close to his pace. Yeah, I, here's my here's my advice, and I don't like giving people advice, but you got to stop challenging a guy whose name is the Machine. Yeah, right. Yeah, you know. He didn't, he didn't get that. It's just some nickname that just popped up. Yeah. I mean, he's a machine at every... I mean, he probably got the name machine. He probably started somewhere with Donut Hole. Yeah. Well, I'm a, I am worried about you. I mean, you... I think it's a certainty that you're going to get sick. Yeah, I'm going to get sick. I'm going to get sick. Yeah. Diarrhea, I, think that, should, I sure. think that should be a rule that if... I mean, diarrhea doesn't count, but if you throw up, it doesn't count. I think that's how it is in Nathan's hot dog eating yeah. contest. There's a certain time you well, have to time, hold in you have to hold hot it dogs. For, for a moment, yeah. Yeah, so maybe we could do that. We have to hold it in for a certain amount of time. I'm definitely going to have diarrhea, 100%. You think but, diarrhea, yeah. Oh, 100%. You know what? When I'm on the road, I would say nothing gives me worse. You're talking about why ladies don't show up my shows because that's what I talk about. But <laughs> the worst, nothing gives me this shit worse than glazed donuts. I don't know really? why. Really? I don't know what it is. All that sugar is just so really? much condensed. It's, it's like, just like, it's just not, yeah, not good for your... Um, um, it doesn't affect me that way. It makes my stomach hurt, but I don't shit. Do, can we get a song shit. before we wrap up? Yeah, I'll sing. How about I sing my new single? Wow. Okay. Yeah. Great. I don't really have singles. I just make videos. But I want to tell you about the video. So I was at. There's this. There was this guy. Um, um, his name is Reginald, mm-hmm. big black guy with a cowboy hat. He calls himself Wheeler with a tan, and he he um, lip syncs to my videos all the time. 
and I put it on Instagram, and then he can't he can't comes to a show in, in Dallas, and I just see it. I was like, it was like seeing my super uh, my hero come to life. He's like, man, I want to do a video you know, video for you. I was like, fuck yeah, I got his number. And it's a it's a song on my album called "If My Dick Is Up, Why Am I Down?" Yeah, I remember that song. And then he made, I was like, if you could shoot this video from a couple angles, we'll edit it together into a video. Um, and he did it. It was pretty fucking cool. Mm. That's awesome. So thanks, Reginald. Yeah, let me grab yeah. my guitar. Okay. Great. Yeah, this is great. How many do you think you could eat in twelve minutes? I don't know. It's, picking the number seems really scary. How about one? Think about oh, sixty that's seconds. That's what different. do you think? And then, I don't know. Five? In a minute? No. No? 25. 25. Yeah. 25 in a minute? No. I think it's possible. Yeah. I think you one. Might get, you might get a little sick. One every 20 seconds, maybe, is realistic. Uh, Tom, I think the key is to be realistic here. Because then you're going to pace yourself. We got to train, train on the pacing. Well, Sorry, there's a every, difference between going for. Lyrics. There's a difference between going for one minute and going for. Should I move this back minutes. a little bit? Uh, you can at this point just do whatever you yeah. need to do. All right. <clears throat> it's a little early for me, so I'm not sure about my voice. Should I do my warm ups? This guy, I went to a, one, a guy once for vocal training. Not I didn't, I didn't need to train, but I wanted to learn how to like warm up every night. And he yeah. He taught me my. He goes. You just go goo 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 goo. And so I do my goos. For oh, a while. okay. You do? Yeah. But I'll, I'll give him a little more mic. Will you pull the mic a little closer? Cl- well, I mean, you can pull it. You can move it if you want. We good? Yeah. Girls, I used to jack off to when I skipped to class and now. Sucking my dick till my balls run dry. Women I never met whipping their tits out, so why am I crying? Girls finger their pussies when they hear I'm around, so my dick is up. Tell me why am I down? Meet a girl at the show and I hand. And before we shake hands, she starts sucking my dick Swallows my nut while I stare at the ground So if my dick is up, tell me why am I down Eating me, beating me, fucking me raw Till my dick gets sore girl is leaving there's two more outside who just walk through the door now i've learned to eat pussy while i'm wearing a frown so my dick is up tell me why am i down licking me sticking me dick in your puss till the sun comes up Ladies I never met sending me texts saying they want to fuck. Girls suck on my nuts while they're reaching around. So if my dick is up, tell me why am I down? So if my dick is up, tell me why am I That's really great. Thanks. Thanks. Really man. nice. Beautiful. Uh, will that be, you think that'll be a live one to play at the amphitheater tour or no? I'm wondering where it's a little bit on the slower side. I like right. to, which one of you queers is going to suck my dick? It's got a nice rock. I think that's a good one for the kid rock yeah. fans. They're the, kind of the rockers eating pussy kicking ass. I'll probably do more up tempo stuff. Would you oh, you got to open with a bang too, I assume, right? Yeah. I, I think, uh, we, well, I don't want to give too much away. Yeah, but yeah. I don't know. I don't know how much the kid rock podcast audience crisscrosses with your your mom's house but 
probably open with sit on my face, you know, just to get the let the crowd know what's up. Let them know what's up. Yeah. That's awesome, man. I'm really happy for you. Congrats on that. Thanks, man. Thanks yeah, for uh, congratulations. having me back. I love you guys. Yeah. It's great. Always great to meet you. Uh, Wheeler Walker Jr., if you don't have uh, Old Wheeler, the, the latest album, it's fantastic. You can catch him on tour um, later this year, opening for Crate Rock on a major amphitheater tour. And you have the the Wheeler podcast? Yeah, with the Wheeler Walker Jr. podcast, probably be season two. I call them seasons because I take months off between. Yeah. Um, probably be up in the next couple weeks. I don't know when this airs, but it'll probably be up close to when this okay. airs. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, thanks for coming. Uh, your mom's house podcast.com. Don't forget, you can get tickets to see us live. Christina P. Online.com, Tom And uh, follow uh, Wheeler Walker Jr. All right. Thanks, Thanks, brother. Thanks for coming, Thanks, Wheeler. As always. Um, this is uh, Right Now by DJ Right Now. Uh, <laughs> Thanks for uh, for listening. Bye, guys.